this is gonna sound crazy, but to deal with the nerve pain in my legs when it gets too much, I just get out the bed and do the breathing techniques. While I'm holding the stomach and I'm breathing in for four seconds, out for eight. Cause none of these different pills and shit seem to work like that. Yo, it is International Whiskey Day, y'all. That means you can go to a sushi restaurant and get that good Japanese whiskey. And if you don't drink whiskey, this is your excuse to drink something else. King's news is whatever made you stop scrolling through your phone or made you laugh out loud today. Anytime I see a prison break, I'm going to stop scrolling. To me, that's one of the most exciting things that can happen in current events. It's a prison break. Boys slip out, find a way to go somewhere, they on the run, all that kind of good shit. Now, these guys broke out of prison, out of a Virginia prison, and got caught. They got caught a couple hours later. They got caught at the local IHOP, dog. I don't... I. I guess there's no way that I could actually understand because I've never been to prison. Yep. I used to be a prison guard. But to break out of jail, you do all of this. And they did this with a toothbrush and some primitive tools accordingly. Look at this, man. This is, um, can't even get my finger on it. That's wild out. A whole hole in the damn in prison cell. Good shit. Swinging and banging on the ones and the twos. Allow me to reintroduce myself to you. I am Kendrick Devon, your professor of gratitude. Because all I'm ever going to do is slide in here with the gratitude journal and remind you all that writing down the stories of why you're grateful is how you manage your negative thoughts. This is how you manage the thoughts of abandonment. This is how you slow down the thoughts of an illness getting worse, of a handicap hurting more, of a disability just blowing shit up. You've got to get all that out your head so you can focus on being the best you. And I do that with a gratitude drum. I coach others to do this with a gratitude drum. Because you cannot have a negative thought and a positive thought at the same time. So as long as you're spending the time, the intentional energy, writing this stuff down, you won't have a negative thought, and that's all you need to get through that moment of the day. Whatever's giving you a hardship, that is what you need to get yourself to the next step, the next day. You just need a little break from all the negativity banging in your head. So you get your gratitude drunk. y'all three. Number one, my eldest daughter made an over-the-counter prescription run for me. I got some ibuprofen, I got some Aleve, and I got some fresh triple antibiotic ointment. Two of these are for my back, and shout out to my, shout out to my PCP who explained the, um, who, who explained I need to take ibuprofen and Aleve. I I rotate those two. So I take them both. At the, I take My mama told me that I can take them at, at the same time. But either way, I got the stuff. And then number the other one, I got the triple antibiotic ointment. And that is because I got boils, dog. I seriously have boils all over my legs, my, my ass, just all type of stuff, man. And... The antibiotic ointment helps get rid of those. The one that I currently have, man, that shit is over two years expired and it still works. But I can only imagine how a fresh, brand new, non-expired one is going to um, help out. So shout out to her. Shout out to her. Gratitude number two. I updated my LinkedIn profile. I'm focused on spreading this podcast. My banner promotes it on LinkedIn now. 
And it's cool because I got the mindset over bullshit arced perfectly over. If you, look at it, if you look at it on the cell phone, it's arced perfectly over my head. But if you go to the computer, it's all, it's, I couldn't get them to match up. It's like on the computer, it looks one way. On the cell phone, it looks another way. I went to the cell phone look because I'm, I'm always on my cell phone when they then. All right, so my banner promotes it. My profile picture is a video. It's like I got the GIF on it. That's going to, that's kind of fly. My links are to the new podcast landing page. Shout out to old boy for finishing that. And then shout out to my cousin on LinkedIn. She's a nurse in Chicago. She runs her own wellness center. And seeing her activity inspires me to stick to the LinkedIn, grow the LinkedIn, come back to the LinkedIn. The big thing that I like about LinkedIn is because you, it's promoted as you can put the longer post. And I'll put a long ass post in a minute. I'm, I'm not going to lie. My videos get to be too long and I'll put a long ass post, but... That is supposed to be how it works out on LinkedIn. That's the reason why you're supposed to be using LinkedIn. You can put the longer posts and everything. Just to comment on people's stuff. All that's supposed to be bigger on LinkedIn. I couldn't comment in, I, I, I couldn't comment on my cousin's stuff the way I wanted to. Like, oh, shout out, same bloodline. Yeah, woo. I couldn't do all that because that's, that's too unprofessional. And I got to keep it some kind of way. Mindset of a bullshit, y'all. And the last one, let me switch this up because I put the last one on my notebook. And the last one, my daughter feels better. This could be several gratitudes. I could break this into all kind of cheesy gratitudes, but I just left it as one. And now, because she felt better, that was perfect time. And that let us get out the house on Saturday. Since she felt better, we didn't have to go to the to the to the clinic on Saturday, went out and got something to drink. And that's why I have decided that sangria margaritas are going to be my drink of the season. I might take that shit well into summer. Sangria margaritas. And I'm also glad she feels better because I will calm down. I get real scary about catching something because of the okravis. They always tell you how the okravis will will knock down your, your own immune system. So I get super worried and, sh and shit like that. Knowing she's better makes me calm down. And um, that's it. That's your gratitudes. We're gonna... We're gonna be here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. This is the Mindset Over Bullshit University podcast that is meant, created for people that are wheelchair bound, bed bound. This is how you slow down your negative thoughts. I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. 1,000 thank you. I salute to you. Be pretty. Stay grateful.